Hello. Welcome to the daily lecture. You have been warned. I'm having some fun today lecturing about a painting, not that painting. And not this painting, which I happen to adore. I'm thinking about sticking it on there. Good Lord, that would be cool. It's my art press hat. That's a leaf I laminated and chromified. I am lecturing about this painting. The painting many people stared at with many different reactions. Yes, my chair is very nice. You can get a tour of my studio later. It is a blank white canvas. There is nothing to it except the This lecture comes directly from a lecture I was given on the streets of San Francisco. And I will get to the bigger news later, but you have probably already seen it. Disproved it, loved it, hated it, or considered it a different way. I haven't recorded it yet. Get cat. There we go. Put this up here. This painting, I've been hoping to sell, hoping somebody was brave, that somebody appreciated it. And I did not just tell people about it. I did not just tell people what this painting means. I have decided to let it gather its own canon weight because of the signature and because that has been the choice of most of my career to let it gain the weight that other people will appreciate be that in a Van Gogh or a Buddha you can see the signature up close that's my kitty cat it's Moo or Mew she's beautiful this is no one two three is the signature and obviously I'd like to show you a little closer just give me a second kitty cat okay it looks like that backwards the rest of it is blank, minus the nice dent. This painting is, and you think about it. Right now you're probably thinking that the cat is the more interesting element, because she is alive, and technically that is your opinion or it isn't. But when I put, say, both of these, or let's just say, when I'm selling my art on the street in my van, my van, my art van, and I leave this blank painting, there's light coming through it, so it looks like something that's not just plain blank because of the back, but it is just plain, come on cat, please. It is just a plain blank canvas, minus the signature. Another good philosophy question, should I move the cat or should I know better? Most people laugh when they see this on the street they see a white canvas with a signature and they think whatever they may think usually they just laugh they think this is worthless or they they don't question me they don't ask anything they go i get sneered at by a lot of old women in that little art town they sneer at me as they walk past to give me shit-eating looks and they think this is lazy as if this is not the product of five years of thought to simply sign but that is what it is 
I waited to do this. I waited a really long time. And so, the lecture in San Francisco that I was given that changed my life has to do with this specifically. It was a homeless man on the side of the street that gave me a nice lecture and we'll get to that. I would ask if you are curious how this experiment works, how the truth of art is present, I would suggest you write down your initial thoughts and then continuating thoughts. At first I thought it was, and then I thought it was, and then I thought it was again, and then I decided it was, and then I decided it wasn't, or then I thought it was, or then I thought it wasn't. Just a list. What is it? What is this blank painting? With just the signature of no one and then the year two, three, right? What is it? And you can add to the value there if you're curious. What is the value after it has accidentally fallen to the floor? To you or to me or from me considering you or you considering me? And how much respect do you give? So now that you have paused or decided not to pause or have now decided pausing is the right decision or decided that pausing is not the right decision, let me give you context. And that was the context. What does context give you? I would hope you would pause again here. And that is the lecture that the homeless man had some bearing for. Context. Is it me that gives this painting signed by no one value? Who is no one signed upon a blank canvas? And that is why this painting has power to me. That is my context. A blank canvas signed no one, and the year 23 happens to be aesthetic. No, 0123 is funny to me. And nice and real good art. So, if ethos gives this painting value, if I happen to maybe reinvent calculus or change climate science or do some number of things, is that what makes this valuable? This canvas signed by no one, this blank canvas under the title of no one, is that what gives the truth of this physical object value. I'm hoping you will pause here if you are confused or choose to be. Now, if I touch this canvas, Is there more value, or is it just something you established? Ah, the fingerprint of a person is the value. I sell fingerprint magnets. You can just have this. Is that the value? The fact that I have touched it? The fact that it has a physical record of my existence. Okay, okay.
Is the necessity of my opinion requisite upon the value? Is not another exactly blank canvas with your name or a, of your hand signing no one? <clears throat> is that not something of more value because your life is not is is your life not valued higher or correctly or incorrectly see this painting gains value to me originally in a lot of ways because it is white Not because what you think I think it is, or because what you think I think it is, but it is potential. It is the allegory of, is the title. the allegory of it is blank correct it is also the same as a sheet of paper white potentially how you see how you see a blank canvas titled by no one what you see in a single sheet of paper with or without respect what you see in a blank canvas with or with absolute disrespect with respect or with absolute disrespect matters how you decide to see these paintings matters One of my favorite ideas about it is that you may draw all over it. You may buy this canvas and have, <laughs> have me. You may have my ethos forever. For neck, I have no, um, I have no price upon this. There is no price upon that canvas. That canvas has nothing as a price established. Because I was hoping somebody else could figure it out. I haven't had the gall or the decision or patience or time to figure that out. It's also space. It's a block of marble. One that you can see potentially... in the allegory of they don't cost all that much it is also light it is all of the colors it is all of the colors it is all of English waiting for you it is all of space and now you see the homeless man's lecture. You see the man who showed me a painting I did not like and then turned around and muttered a few words. Ah, it's just famous, this or that. And then shook power dynamics, turned around and said, what if I, or he said, what if I was a famous artist and I just didn't tell you? And then had a little, you know, um, distracting, or it was so long ago, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. And when I looked at it again, all I could see was beauty. Mayan colors, the truest, the truest beauty. And I never forgot that. I, I never, ever forgot that. 
how you see it is how it matters. We are, the universe is, without us, not calculated. It doesn't exist without us in the, the ability of our time, to, to, in the ability of time understandable. There is no understanding in the universe without life, without you, without me. There is n n no time, no space, except as the unit or the separation. There is technically physical forces that exist from the moment of the, the greater inspiration to the heat death. There is no meters. It is one crystal ball allegory, not separate. Only life gives it truth of separation. And so how you see something like that, something like a woman or a child or a man or a non-binary person or a politician or an animal or nothing is the value. Subjectively or in a community with appreciation or without open for change or not open for change. So when you look at this blank painting and you wonder what is it? You see what I have done. Technically. Love you guys. Gals. I will be around. That's the lecture for today. From the poet. To you.